beautiful people Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads um <laughs> so I have a new camera and uh I screwed up my other intro the other night if you saw my video and I had to shoot it on my on my phone in the car with Joe on the way to another explorer so guess what I did it again so I'm bringing you an intro from my phone again um this is a place that we found uh by chance actually but it's kind of a cool story because we met this cop the other night and he gave us like all these different places to go see. Um, one of which he couldn't tell us exactly how to get to, but it ended up, we stumbled across it. And it was this school that you're about to see. It's a Head Start school. Um, the funny thing is we were on our way to another middle school to, to film. Seems like that's the thing in the Carolinas, uh, abandoned haunted middle schools. But you guys are gonna love this video. It's a lot of fun. Um, you have, <laughs> stay tuned because uh, what happens in the video, obviously we're like, oh, I can't wait to hear the playback. Well, I heard it. It's awesome. This is really cool. This is a fun video. It's also a very creepy video. Just kind of stay tuned all the way through. Let me know what you hear down in the comments, guys. Smash the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. Help me grow. I appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. It's Saturday night. Joe is back in Florida. He left. He's gone. So until next time, you know, can't wait to see him again. I'm grateful that he was able to come. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow. Let's go Bucks. Let's do this. Represent Tampa. Um, I will see you guys really soon. So uh, deuces and enjoy. All right, I'm just going to come back because if you guys just look at this freaking floor, this place has a bunch of sporting equipment. So we're going to a, a couple of, we're definitely going to be trying to hit a school that we know about. And then after, we're going to try and hit a, uh, a house that's known to be haunted. Okay. I hear things all the time. It seems like I constantly hear things. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's just the elements or if I actually heard somebody talking. Let me know what you think you hear down below. Right, this is where we did the intro right here. And I mean, that is the coolest thing that brings me back to like my old football days when I first started out as a kid and there's a bird's nest in there it's all kinds of stuff all over the floor too
Yeah, this was definitely a school. I swear, it sounds like, okay, Joe is over here. Again, I don't know if that's just the elements. No, there's some ro there's road noise. This is right off the road. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Doling pianos. <clears throat> the kitchen area. Oh, this must be the lunch line. The lunch lady. Oh, it's freezing in here. Oh my goodness. Cool Ansel system. Look at the old school clock. <laughs> You hear that? <sighs> what was that sound? Joe? Hey, Joe. Huh. Okay, that might have just... Joe? How was that? Joe, did you hear that? Oh. Alright, so that wasn't Joe. He's way down there. Wow. 
So, good thing we don't have smell of vision guys. about to cave in. Oh wow. Cool, look at this. The old bumper pool table. They have a lot of pianos in the school. That's the third one. And that is so neat. Look at that, the upright piano. Wow. Some fool's ball. Seen, seen better days, that's for sure. All these these ceilings, look at this. There's leaks everywhere in this place. I shouldn't stand under this light, because with my luck, it'll come right down on my head. One of the things that I enjoy about these pla uh, place like this in, in the last school that we did, which that video I just put out today, the um, the sounds, the, it's kind of neat shooting during the day, day because it, the lighting is just so much different. It's just more um, cinematic, I guess, but the water drip. Just the anticipation after the dripping of the water. I'm walking down a dimly lit hall and you're just expecting somebody to jump out and scare the living daylights out of you. Look at this nastiness. I don't know what that is. It's like some old Christmas decorations. Did you just say something? No, but I heard another growl. Like it sounded like a growl. Maybe there's an animal in here. It is weird, man. Huh. I didn't hear that one, but I did hear. Oh, look at that. Creepy. Just that always breaks my heart. Seeing little kids' chairs. Obviously, this has been there's been some vandals in here. They burnt that chair. I've heard stuff, man, <laughs> but I hear things everywhere, man. Here's the thing: you check out down the hall, bro, because if, I'll show you right here. If you go right, way, right by room five. I'm pretty sure I heard a growl or something. <laughs> There. Watch out. Dude, what was that? Did I leave my trunk in my car open? Did I leave it like that? I don't think so. Here, hold this. I'm going to go shut your trunk and check out here. Okay. My trunk is wide open. I and mean, we maybe we left it open. We had to. My heart's racing. <laughs> what was that? Does it, did that sound like a person to you? It, was, it, it didn't say it was a person. <sighs> yeah, there's nobody here, my man. <laughs> oh, I know. Here you go, brother. Oh, wait, well, Chris is good. This is, we had to squeeze through this door right here. Well, Thank God Chris is so window, slim. Though, Look yeah. at that. You okay? Yeah, that, that was freaky. Man. Oh my God, this had to, this had to have heard that without a doubt. That was really scary. So it sounded like somebody yelled or something. It almost it reminded me of the other night with that other video. So we haven't put out the first night that Joe got here. 
we did a video and uh, we got in a little bit of an altercation and uh, I thought we were gonna get into it like another one. Oh man. We're good. So friggin' loud and clear. I don't understand it. We were right here. That was you? The kid stuff, right? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> See what I'm talking about with the lighting? It's so neat. Okay, so we were right about here. When we heard something. <sighs> Not something, someone. Was that gel? Oh my god. Look at that. Seeing that creeps me out. <laughs> It's just answering our questions, right? find the history of this place kind of I would love to know something about this place all right what was that <laughs> you gotta be kidding me Still trying to catch my my breath. What I've found myself doing lately 
when, when we come into situations like this, or um, I, I try to imagine what it was like here. Uh, and I see that, and it brings me back to when my kids, my bigger kids were little. Um, it takes me back a little bit like that helmet earlier that we saw. It takes me back to my, my childhood. Just very interesting because I never used to process things the way I, I have been lately. Maybe it's just uh, something that comes with maturity, I don't know. But it's, it's cool, but it's kind of, it, I get sad. Um, and I, I had no, I said that very effeminate, but I get sad. Uh, but I, I really enjoy it. It's just a, it's nostalgic to, to bring you back. Cause so those little desks and stuff like that, I, I mean, come on, that doesn't bring you back to when you were a kid and in school. And some incredible memories. Passed through my mind. So it really is neat. Because there are certain memories that will pop up that... Never in a million years would I ever imagine. That I would ever think of certain situations again. That football helmet earlier really brought me back though. I started playing football when I was seven years old. <clears throat> Actually, six, I believe. Yeah, six. And uh, kind of the cool thing was is that my family was part of a handful of families and friends that started the youth uh, sports in our area growing up. And... Uh, so seeing something like that definitely, definitely takes me back to a very, very good place in my life. Um, that I only hope and wish that my children can have half of the memories that I had. That you can just sit back and smile on, you know. Times are different. You can't duplicate what you had. You can only try and... Make what they have with their time as wonderful as you possibly can. It's Joe, I think it's Joe. I definitely heard. What I would say were growls in here, and that I, the voice we heard. I've, I've heard several voices. Yes, I've heard several voices. Not a growl, but I heard like um, I. The first time when I asked you, I thought I heard like some howling or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and you said you heard a growl, but I was all the way on that end. You were over here. Yeah. I thought I heard. Did were you bouncing a ball? I kicked the ball. You kicked the ball. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Good to know. It's weird, but like this stuff that's here, man. It's kind of like. It's a great uh, I'll just do, like, explore. Really I think it's a helmet. Another helmet. Did you see on the chalkboard? It's Mickey Mouse. Where it said, um, it's not a ghost, it's a demon. Yeah, I did. I saw that in that room. I was saying on, or a, a little while ago, Joe, that I I get sad, you know, with a lot of this stuff. Peter Cottontail, oh my god. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Hey, 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 did you just say again or no? Yep. Not, not as, not as loud, but... No? Huh. I think that uh, 
This is awesome. What a friggin' this awesome place. Cool fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's fun to make fun. Yeah, we got to kind of boogie. Oh, that way, Chris? Uh, the car is back here, yeah. I kind of... Like I said, we have so much filming to do, and this is just a random place. Do I know anything about it? I would love to, uh, I would love to stay here a little longer, too. But we have, we have short, a short amount of time to get in as much as we possibly can. As you know, in the Carolinas, there's, a, there's a curfew. Um, Joe's, wow, that's really washed out. Joe's leaving tomorrow in the morning, so um, between weather, uh, driving, curfews, all that other good stuff, um, we don't have too much time. So we want to get to our destinations for sure. And drink. What? We actually have permission to be here. This is the head start that the police officer From the cop was telling us, yeah. Uh huh. I saw that where it said that before. So that's actually, I'm glad Joe, Joe brought that up. So we talked to um, county deputies. So we're in. Actually. I'm going to take that out because I don't want to say where we are. Um, so we had a deputy tell us that it was okay for us to film at this location. And he actually tried to guide us in here. And Joe just saw the paperwork for... Um, I saw it earlier too. Um, but I wasn't sure that we were in the same location. But we've been really trying to um, stop and talk to cops and talk to whoever we can. Just to make sure that we want to do things the right way. And uh, we don't really know what the right way is, and that's part of the reason why um, I'm hesitant on uh, filming without having people with me because I just don't, it's a different area, it's scary sometimes, but we're going to get out of here, guys. Um, this was really an awesome place. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please make sure, like, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. Um, Thank you again for everything you guys do for me. I'm going to get out of here, cut out, and uh, we'll be filming here in about another 20 minutes. So, place scared me a little bit. I will see you guys next time. Deuces.